I think the most important problem in philosophy today is probably the question of truth. The question of difference between truth and ordinary opinions. The distance uh, between a truth and an ordinary uh, thinking, an ordinary opinion. And it's a big problem because there is naturally a very long history of uh, what is a truth <coughs> from the very beginning of philosophy. But during the 19th and uh, the next century, we constate the development about uh, the question of truth, of uh, absolute truth, something uh, like a nihilistic point of view. Truth does not exist, uh, uh, there exist only opinions, uh, there exist uh, different cultures, but from a culture to another culture we have different vision of what is the truth, so there does not exist absolute truth, and so on. And uh, I think that all that finally uh, creates a crisis in philosophy, a real crisis. Uh, finally, the distinction between philosophy and uh, ordinary opinions becomes unclear. In particular, today, in France, it's uh, very striking to observe that uh, very often we name philosopher, uh, a writer, or uh, uh, something we write in papers, or uh, something we give opinions in uh, radio and uh, tele and so on. <coughs> and so a philosopher, finally, is uh, everybody who is in position to say something. <coughs> But it's not sufficient, in my vision, to be a philosopher. It's not sufficient to have some ideas. So we must create a new conception of uh, what is a philosopher, of who is a philosopher, and so a new conception of philosophy, finally. By a return to something uh, old, that is the distinction, the clear distinction, between uh, the process of the truth on one side and the existence of uh, ordinary opinions on the other side. It was the idea of Plato, so it, it's not something new. <coughs> but uh, we must uh, uh, discover a new manner to say the same thing. And it is why, for me, philosophy must be today something like a theory of truths.